Hi, I'm Kai and welcome back to my channel. If you're probably wondering why I feel so mellow, it's maybe because I feel so woozy because of this paint. So I decided to challenge myself for one of the entries I have for PSMS. I decided what if I pass an entry that I painted with the most cheapest paints that I could find in Shopee, which I did, which is this one. This cost 67 pesos, probably a dollar something, so it's super, super cheap, okay? Super cheap, and as a clash, they have an acrylic version of this, I decided to go oils to give myself extra paint. I guess I have to buy and the cheapest thing I can also find in Shopee. This costs 80 pesos for 10 packs of this, so I only use one, so that's basically 8 pesos. It's not bad, it can't maintain its tip if you can see it there, but it's it's still a pain because the majority of the pain is because of this. So, this is how I'm gonna show you guys how I basically died inside. This challenge was technically impossible without Armored Kimono's Mineral Spirits. This is a life changer. I don't think I was... I don't think I can do it without this. Oil paints in minis. You need Mineral Spirits, which is, in this case, this. Now, at first it was fine, but I kind of sensed that it wasn't dry. I mean, it's... The mineral spirit is drying too fast, but the problem is the oil that mixed together with this is it. It gets stuck. It gets just pulled around and the mineral spirit is just dispersed. So I tried another way. So oh, Armand Komodo has a cicative. A cicative is also an oil painting agent. I think it's the equivalent of Gamsol. If you are a 2D painter like me, I think that's the equivalent of Gamsol. So this thing really really works so this is a way better uh, additive for this because it balances out and it was able to paint this smoothly i use a cheapo tupperware box for my bits to paint this i actually have a glass palette but i'm too lazy to pull it out because it's in a bodega i have around my parents home so i just use a tupperware <laughs> and Boy, was this a challenge. The longer I paint, the longer I hated my workspace because it smells bad. It really smells bad. I know oils has a strong scent to them, but this one feels extra, extra bad. Like, it smells like rotten metal. And it says here in the packaging that there is no toxins or lead. And I am now starting to believe I highly, highly doubt that. This is, by the way, targeted for kids, so if there are parents that are watching this and you want their kids to try paints, please do not buy the cheapest one. This is... This is dangerous. I, I really believe it. It's... It's cheap, and it makes sense why it's horrible <laughs> for its price. But I was able to get the job done. So I am technically proud, but will I use this again? Definitely not. The smell is... Oh god, I don't like the smell. Until now, because I opened it already, it smells awful. It just genuinely smells awful, okay? It's driving me insane. At the end of the day, I was able to paint him. He looks sexy. I wish I could done more if I had you know more control with it i will be happy but it's really hard to move things around especially this paints are like only five percent pigment and 95 percent binder and i don't think their binder is oil i highly highly doubt that but i was able to do it and probably i will repaint this again with actual artist oils which i do have um, maybe for next time so let me know guys if you want me to do like a remake of this so thank you guys for watching this is Kai and I'm very very happy I did this it made me appreciate my amazing collection of paints <laughs> so yeah guys see you guys in the next video bye bye